What's poppin', homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. Listen, what on earth? Why is there an alligator in Prospect Park Lake? Why? Now, somebody had to put that alligator in there when it was small. Because the alligator is four, is a, it was four foot long and it was caught on, on Sunday. But we're going to get into this whole article. I'm just shocked because an alligator inside of Prospect Park Lake? What? But anyway, I was looking at this alligator, right? And I saw the pictures and I'm like, why his face don't look like that? Well, because the alligator was is sick. It's not used to living in that kind of water. It's in New York City. Come on. It's, it's not used to that. But anyway, somebody take that alligator back to Florida, please. Down near in the Everglades, wherever it belongs. It doesn't belong in New York City. Take the alligator somewhere else. But anyway, um, a sick four-foot-long alligator was caught on Sunday in Brooklyn, and officials are looking for the person responsible a member of the prospect park maintenance staff spotted the gator near duck island in prospect park lake now the parks department says the, the alligator was um lethargic perhaps because of the cold it was also in poor condition parks are not suitable for homes for animals um not indigenous to those parks Okay, that domesticated or otherwise. Now, an official with NYC Park said, in addition to the potential danger to park goers, this could have caused releasing non-indigenous animals or unwanted pets can lead to elimination of native species and unhealthy water quality. In this case, the animal was found very lethargic and possibly cold, shocked since it is a native to like warm, you know, tropical climates. That alligator doesn't belong here. If somebody brought that alligator to Brooklyn in that pond, in that lake, and let it go. And I hope they find the person responsible for that. Officials said the rescue wasn't too difficult given the condition of the alligator. And she was pretty close to the edge and it was also very lethargic and slow moving so it wasn't really you know a crazy crazy crocodile wrestling incident where it was fighting her at all and we also lifted pretty you know pretty easily as well it, because it wasn't moving so well that being said they had no issues getting the alligator out the water the alligator was not fighting because you know, it's sick. So it was easy for them to get it out of the water and take it somewhere. Now, officials captured the gator and transported it to ACC. It was then transported to the Bronx Zoo for re rehabilitation. Alligators can grow as large as 11 feet and weigh 1,000 pounds. I expected a much smaller animal, so I was really surprised at how large it was. Um, we don't get calls about reptiles that are released into our parks, but never anything this big have I encountered. Releasing animals in New York City parks is illegal. If you see an abandoned animal, the best thing to do is leave the animal where it is and call 311 or locate an urban park ranger in the park urban park rangers respond around to about 500 reports of animal conditions per year citywide police are trying to figure out who dumped the alligator there now the operating theory is that it was a domesticated pet and someone released it into the lake possibly so if someone has an alligator right and let's just say they can't care for alligator anymore. In this case, let's say the person had this alligator, right? Could not care for it anymore. So he took the alligator and released it into the lake. That's just illegal. You can't do that. You cannot do that. 
The alligator is not used to the weather, the New York City weather, okay? You can't do that. Oh, my gosh. Mm. That's, that's spooky. <laughs> that's kind of scary to me. I don't go running around in Prospect Park anyway, so I'm just saying. You know, that that's a very dangerous thing to do. If, if you have an alligator, don't release it into the water. Take it somewhere. Take it to the Bronx Zoo or any zoo for that matter to get rid of it. But don't release those type of animals in the, in the lake, in the park. Don't do it. Don't do it. I was like, when I saw this article, then my aunt sent me the article on Instagram. And I'm like, okay, because I was just ready to talk about it. I'm like, wait a minute. Am I reading this right? A, a four-foot alligator. Wow. Mm -mm. There's always something going on. It's never a dull moment. Something is always going on. It is just ridiculous. A four-foot alligator in Prospect Park. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That's something. It was not too long ago. I want to say, was it in Long Island? Somebody had left alligators in a, a in a um a bin a black bin with the yellow tops somebody left an alligator in a in a black bin with a yellow top it was filled with some water okay it was alligators in there and someone did call you know the police and they got and they got rid of it so you just gonna leave those baby alligators there I don't know who's doing it but I wish they catch the people who's doing this kind of stuff I want to say it happened in Long Island if you remember where it happened at, let me know in the comment section. Because that's dangerous. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, I don't like stuff like that. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for right now. I'll come back later with something else, I guess. Um, yeah. And um, I hope you, your Monday is going well. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day.